For this assignment, I wanted to adapt and modify a toy, um, specifically with, with a child in mind who had cerebral palsy or possibly some other form, uh, some other deficit that limited fine or gross motor control in ways that would make it hard or difficult to play with common toys and to engage in the same occupations as some of their friends. Uh, one thing I, I thought might be particularly useful, I, I searched the internet for, for some ideas and I saw that people, a lot of people had come up with different modifications for bowling. Uh, either, you know, real bowling in an, in an alley with bumper um, pillows in the, in the gutters or, or ramps set up. And a lot of people kind of took those ideas back home with them. And you see a lot of ramps set up with PVC piping and other kind of elaborate and extravagant setups. And I thought that that really would take up a lot of floor space and also make it feel, I don't know, that much more different or foreign uh, to, to children that would use this toy, especially if they had their friends over and wanted to engage in a more normal way with those friends. So I decided I would come up with a way to modify bowling um, and make it much more compact and kind of easy to navigate and something you could just put away or tuck back um, in storage once you were done with it for the parents' sake and for the child. So I came up with um, a few ideas um, using tent poles basically as a guide, as a rail system to direct the ball uh, for children who weren't able to aim it, then also for children who didn't have the strength or uh, coordination to, to throw the ball. It wasn't expensive. Uh, even going to the store and buying all the parts and pieces, you'd probably be um, under $40 for the whole thing. And honestly, most of this are items that were, would be found around many homes. And you could put this together for next to nothing. Even the basic toy itself, the, a, a basic plastic bowling set is, is usually less than $10, certainly less than $20. One of the things I liked about this particular modifi modification and this toy was the way it can be graded. This works, you know, specifically with, with um, cerebral palsy. It can work with uh, spastic cerebral palsy, both for spastic muscle tone or, or contractures. Um, also for people with, um, with low muscle tone um, and, and just don't have a lot of strength or ability to kind of coordinate their, their throwing movements. Um, this offers anywhere from just a little help in aiming the ball for children who can throw to, to uh, basically taking over the whole bowling motion with just a tap of the hand, if that's, if that's all that someone can really offer the, the situation. And yet it still offers a, you know, a fun way to, to kind of be responsible to feel like you're a part of sending that ball down the lane and knocking down the pins, which is what it's all about for all, all children of all abilities. This adapted toy allows for children of many abilities to play some bowling. Here is uh, an example of how it might help a child who is able to throw a ball but doesn't have very good aim. And Ben will demonstrate now how this simple adaptation can help. The pole directs for a perfect strike. Here we have the toy set up in such a way it's modified for a child who has enough fine motor control to place the ball onto a track. From that point, gravity will do the trick. And here we have the toy set up for a child who does not have enough fine motor control to place the ball onto the rails himself, but does have the ability to give the ball a gentle bat. In this case, a helper or an adult would place the ball onto the track waiting for him, and then when the child is ready, he can bowl. Another adaptation we've made is an automatic pin setter function. It's for a 
child who lacks the fine motor control necessary to arrange all the cues and all the pins into the places they need and keep them balanced while setting them up. It's a pretty simple adaptation we've made. We tied all the pins down to a base with a with string, they're anchored, anchored down, and the child would simply raise the platform with holes cut out, and snaps them into place where they belong, and then just kind of carefully lower everything into position, and you should keep everything right where it needs to be. You're ready to throw that next strike. I got a row of pin here. And from there, you're ready to play ball. Now that we're done explaining all the modifications, Steve, we'll show you how to clean it up. Um, the ball goes here. 